I just want to semi-review and discuss a um, deck that has um, been going around eBay lately. Because we all like some dirt cheap cards sometimes. And it is this one. Just says Tarot. It's nice and uh, foiled. And that's exactly what this is. It's a Rider White Smet deck. And it's foiled. And it is so completely and utterly stolen property. I actually don't know if the Rider White Smet deck it actually has a copyright on it still. It's pretty old. But if it do, this here you have a Chinese bootleg of it. And it is cheap. It is so incredibly cheap. I think I paid two and a half dollars for this one, and that's cheap for tarot decks. And you can see it in the box. The box is so flimsy. I am afraid it will fall apart immediately, so this card's definitely gonna need a bag. And yeah, come out, come out, little cards. The you two hang man. So uh, just getting the guidebook out of the side because it no point in reviewing that because it's in Chinese, so I can't read it. Basically, this is what you get. It's Rider White cards, pretty small versions of them, and they are foiled. So I know who would like this. I have a friend who loves foiled cards, and by love, I mean hate them as if they was the greatest abomination upon the earth. You would really love this deck, you know who you are. So yeah, and here is why my friend really hate that. If you can see that, this deck is brand new. Can you see the warping? Yeah, that happens with all foil. I mean, I play my trick the gathering and we have the foiling problem. If you hear any sounds, it's because there's a helicopter passing by overhead. So, uh, yeah, and this is cheap foiling, so it uh, th there will be a lot of warping. I do wish uh, Low Scarabeo or US Game Systems, who have has the license for this, made a Rider White Smite deck of these uh, that was foiled though, because the effect looks pretty cool. So yes, um, as for the cardstock quality, it is actually surprisingly good. I mean, it's not expensive, you can feel that it's fairly cheap, but it's it's thick. It will, this will actually stand up to some abuse. What is a little bit jarring though is that you can see how glossy the um, fronts are and the black has no gloss and uh, no, the back has no glossing at all. The backs aren't too bad though, though they sort of look a little bit like a cheap uh, sailor's tattoo. But they are uh, fully uh, reversible, so that is nice. I'm not going to show every one of these cards because it's a Rider White my deck. We have all seen those before. But yes, I do not like that they basically put the card there and then this frame around it. So basically, you can see you have the card, you have the name of the card holder, and you have a frame around it, and then you have the Chinese name. And I think trimming it. And making the back look nice will be hard. So, because the cards are so thick, you see I've already taken some cards out and it, this, this is thick. This is, let me just add the other ones in. You can just see. Um, this is a fat deck. Uh, but I mean, that's not a huge problem. I think this would be a completely okay beginner deck, to be quite honest. <coughs> Excuse me. It's cheap. It, if you are uh, considering whatever or not doing tarot is something that you would enjoy doing, I think you could do worse than picking up one of these for two, three dollars. I mean, 
you can feel that it's cheap. This is made by cheap materials, it is sold cheaply. Uh, you can feel, for example, the, um, the cutting edges here, basically where the cards have been connected. You can feel that it hasn't been cut very well. You have those problems. But you could definitely do worse when it comes to spending two and a half dollars on something. And I think that what really actually would be the best use of this is if you uh, need to use the tarot for something. For example, you want to put a, a tarot card in a spell bag, then you might want to use this. Uh, you want to um, uh, burn it, but for the love of everything, do it outside and be careful because I don't know what all of these things are and uh, they might be poisonous. So don't do it then inside, but if you want to burn a card and add the ashes to something, then these are uh, cheap cards to work for as a sacrificial lamb. But yeah, I mean, for it to be a cheap uh, foiling, it looks actually surprisingly nice. And yeah, I'm happy with it. You might be able to see more about what I'm um, saying with the cutting. Yeah, yes, you can see it. So yeah, I don't really know what more to say about this deck. It is an odd one, certainly. Uh, here's the guidebook. It comes with this cute little guidebook, and it has information on the cards. All in, I think it's Chinese. I'm pretty sure it's Chinese. Uh, there are even layouts here. There's several layouts actually. The layouts you can sort of use because there are drawings for them. Pentagram layout, seven pointed star, a six pointed star layout, nine card layout that I don't really know what I want to do with. The ever obligatory Celtic cross. It seems to be an actually pretty good little white book compared to how cheap the product is. I think this is pretty good. I mean, it wouldn't stand up to your newest low scarabio product. But I mean, the cardstock isn't that horrendous. I mean, it's bad, but it's not that horrendous. I have had worse from low scarabio. And yeah, it's a neat little product. And for the price of a cup of coffee, I'm not complaining. And that is my review of... Um, Cheap foil tarot. That's what we will call it. I have no idea what it says on the sides, but I will call it cheap foil tarot. So yes, hope you have enjoyed this review. Have a great day and blessed be.